Well, something's come up in the news that I just can't ignore. It's a not-so-interesting story going around about a wolf pack that's killed 19 elk. It's just such a sensationalized story. Why do I say that it's blown out of proportion? Well, headlines like WOLF SLAUGHTER ELK IN SPORT KILLING are just clickbait. It's clearly worded by people who don't like wolves or for people who don't like wolves. It's stirring up emotion and controversy. National Geographic's own subtitle is Unusual Wolf Behavior Leaves Game Officials Scratching Their Heads in Wyoming. I'm scratching my head too about that sentence. If the wolves did indeed kill this many elk at once, how can you not know why? I mean, squirrels bury nuts and stash food. Not that difficult to understand. Instinct. It's instinctual to have food security. It's why every human being who can afford to buys more than they need at the grocery store. It's the same thing. Food hoarding isn't unusual for humans. I also want to point out that a lot of food that is bought ends up being thrown in the trash. Humans are wasteful. And yet, there are people trying to say that wolves are wasteful for not eating all that they kill. You know that's hypocritical, right? I'll clarify. Not all humans are wasteful. You know, some of them. Anyway, still hypocritical. News website WMTW Portland article includes this. 19 elk, mostly calves, were found dead several days ago at a feeding ground near Bouderont, a town southeast of Jackson. This was said by John Lund of the Wyoming Game and Fish Department. A contractor delivering feed to the herd discovered the dead animals. Lund said wildlife officials are concerned because wolves usually eat what they kill or come back later to feed. How will you know if the wolves will return to these elk carcasses or not? They were moved. They were lined up neatly for these photos for this sensational news report. The wolves haven't had time to return and continue eating. Wolves can return to a kill for weeks. But sure, they were being wasteful. They just killed them. You know, I don't keep food in my fridge for several days or weeks. Okay. <laughs> but Lund does point out that the frigid temperatures of winter do preserve prey so that the wolves can return for later consumption. Lund also mentions that some factors that may have caused the elk herd to be vulnerable are deep snow and disease. Everybody's arguing about this, but Lund states that the elk will be tested for disease. But, you know, so what if the wolves don't eat at all? If the wolves don't eat all of a carcass, other animals will. Wolf kills feed foxes, coyotes, lynx, bobcats, pumas, mountain lions, uh, bears, birds, other animals. The decaying organic matter puts nutrients back in the soil. Nothing is wasted in nature. A lot of people argue this. I don't know why. Everything has a purpose, including death. Um, so let me address the number 19. 19 dead elk. How many humans were killed yesterday, today, by another human? Um... We kill millions of cows, pigs, sheep, chickens for food every year. Wildlife services kill thousands of wild nuisance animals every year. A pack of wolves killed a few elk. I don't understand the outrage and confusion. I really don't. Oh, wait! The hunters in Wyoming won't get to kill those elk during the next hunting season. Right. Now, now I remember. John Lund stated that... Wolves have been responsible, he claims, the wolves have been responsible for 70 elk kills this winter. Um, he says that's more than the average. 70 elk is enough to affect the hunting season for humans. Let's see. So let's address that these dead elk were found near an elk feeding ground. I've seen some comments suggesting that the elk carcasses were removed from that elk feeding ground to deter the wolves from returning. Don't you think they'll just come back, not find their food, and kill more? An elk feeding ground is a place where the Wyoming Game and Fish Department put out hay for the elk herd during winter. There's a lot of problems with that. Number one, this causes health problems for the elk, such as foot rot because instead of foraging naturally, the elk herds remain in one area. They're standing in their own waste all winter. This is a breeding ground for disease. Link to an article more about that. 
in the description. So an elk feeding ground, a bunch of elk in one place, easily found all winter. I imagine this actually attracts the wolves who return regularly for easy meals, <laughs> which brings up an interesting thought. I've seen a couple different photos of these dead elk all lined up, kind of like those hunting derby photos. Why were they lined up in this fashion? Um, in one of the photos, the elk looked like they could be in various stages of decay. I really question the authenticity of the story. Maybe the story isn't even true. Why are there no pictures of the elk carcasses in their original locations? You know, some people who hate wolves could have been gathering these carcasses from the wild or from the elk feeding ground as the sick animals died or as they were killed by wolves over a long span of time, like all winter. Biologists are calling it rare. It doesn't happen very often. Another problem with the elk feeding ground, shouldn't elk be like moving around and foraging and finding food for themselves? Why are wild animals being fed? Aren't we always told, hey, don't feed the wild animals in the parks because they'll cause trouble. They'll become dependent on humans. You know, the real truth is that elk are not wild anymore in this area of the country. They are fed like cattle. And the herd numbers are kept up for human hunters. And wolves can no longer be wolves. I have more. It just goes on and on. The other sensational wording we see is sport killing or this was a sport kill. Honestly, at this point, I don't really care if wolves kill for sport or not. Humans do. Why can't wolves? What are you gonna do next? Try to get wolves to go to church and follow the Ten Commandments? It's really unrealistic. You know what? Stop anthropomorphizing the wolf. Let's see. An article from CBS Denver has the following. And like, none of these news reports have the same information. Like, it, they just kind of pick and choose what they want to show you. The Northern Rocky Mountain Wolf Coordinator for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Mike Jimenez, said this kind of surplus killing is extremely rare for wolves. Again, rare. By and large, wolves don't kill for sport. We did an eight-year study and we looked at elk feed grounds. What we found is that generally wolves did not kill what they did not eat. I want to point out that not all news articles are including this important information. So lastly, a lot of people argue that the wolf subspecies that was reintroduced into Yellowstone is a larger, more aggressive, more vicious wolf than the native species that used to be in the area. This wolf is killing more elk and causing more problems. Honestly, I think some people would say that any wolf is killing too many other animals. So maybe this wolf subspecies should not have been brought in from Canada. However, I do still think that nature could work itself out and find a balance if it were allowed to. If other animals were allowed to adjust naturally and learn different behavior that keeps them from being killed and eaten. But no, we're gonna feed the elk herds all winter at feeding grounds. We're gonna make them fat, lazy, sitting ducks instead of letting them change their behavior. If reintroducing this wolf subspecies was such a bad example of environmental management, why do humans continue to think that we can manage and control nature? Just to stop. Stop feeding the elk during winter. People say that there are too many deer and elk, but hey, reduce the wolf numbers because the elk herds aren't big enough. Oh wait, no, we need to reduce the elk numbers because they're in direct competition for pasture for livestock. On and on. Just never stops. But I think I covered everything I wanted to finally. Um, that's it. Links to articles mentioned will appear in the description below. Leave a comment or not. This is just a dead horse. It's being beaten over and over and over again. Thanks for watching.